I feel like I haven't updated you guys in a while, just on life and things like that. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing another full face of nothing new. This is a series that I love doing on my channel, and I really wanna make a point to do one of these videos once a month. I feel like they're a really great way for me to just take a chill pill on all the new launches that are happening, and hopefully something that you guys can enjoy as well, and hopefully it will inspire you to reach back into what you already own instead of worrying about what's new and what you should purchase next and things like that. So I'm really, really excited. I love filming these videos. Here is the before and after so you guys can see exactly what we're getting into today. I actually had a comment from one of you guys that specifically was asking me to use the Desi Katie Friendcation palette in my next Full Face of Nothing New. So here I am. I'm going to use that and I'm so excited. Let's start off with the eyes. I already have my brows on. Today I used the Anastasia brow wiz. I used two colors to kind of create this brow and I really like how it looks. Um, and then I also use the Benefit Highbrow underneath the brows. This is so awesome. This product is really great. I've recently like rediscovered it, I guess, in the past month maybe. And I really love how it cleans up the brow area and it just looks really nice. So let's go ahead and prep the eyelids. I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer today. And I'm just going to dot this on the eyelids. You guys, I'm really proud of myself because I finally cleaned my desk, like my filming desk. The rest of my beauty room is an absolute disaster still, but it is progress because I just really have given up on my beauty room. Unfortunately, I feel like my beauty room kind of becomes the room where I put things that I don't know where to put things, if that makes sense. And it shouldn't be because I work here. Like it should be a place that I feel inspired. It should be a place that I'm able to keep clean, but that's just not the case for me sometimes. But it's amazing how like mentally I feel really, really at ease when my surroundings are tidied. And so I'm gonna finish cleaning it later today, but I'm just really happy that my desk space at least makes sense and it's really pretty. My next project is also to wash my makeup brushes. Oh my goodness, that is quite the uh, project. So I also tend to procrastinate that. For powder today, I'm gonna to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is a classic and I feel like it's just gonna be foolproof with this look. I love this powder. I think that everyone should own this in their makeup collection just because it's so foolproof. Like you can really rely on it and it looks beautiful in photographs. It makes your makeup last a really long time. So I love this stuff. I'm just applying it all over the eyelid to set it. And then we're gonna go into eyeshadow. You guys, it's actually been a really, really long time since I've used this Friendcation palette. So I'm happy that somebody recommended it because I feel like a lot of you guys might have this palette. And so it'll be fun for me to use today. We're gonna start off by going into this shade right here called Necessary. This is one of my favorite palettes of all time. I think the packaging is just stunning. It stays where I can see it because it's so sparkly. All the Desi Katie products like stay outside of my Alex 9 drawers so that they can sparkle and shine, you know? It's such a pretty collection. I'm just going in and buffing this into the transition area. And I'm kind of taking what's left on the brush and putting it right there underneath the brow. We're just gonna take our time today. I don't have anywhere to go. I'm just gonna really enjoy using some of these products that I haven't used in a while. And we're gonna create something pretty. I actually am so excited to dip into this green shade. I haven't ever created a look with this green shade. I've swatched it before, but I have not yet put it on my eyes. So I'm so excited to wear it. We're gonna start to deepen up the outer corner. I'm gonna go in with this nice warm brown shade. This is in the shade Churro. The mirror in here is so dirty. <laughs> but I'm just gonna take that shade and start to press it on this outer portion of the eyelid. And then I'm gonna take what's left on the brush and start to buff it into the crease a little bit. That is such a pretty brown shade. I feel like I haven't updated you guys in a while, just on life and things like that. So I felt like this video would be a good time to kind of update you on what's going on. I'm just taking the brush we were using before and I'm gonna blend out the edges with this. But basically we've been living in a condo for the past year, over a year. And when we first moved here, it was awesome. It's a two bedroom condo. We use the bigger room for the beauty room so I can have all my equipment in here. It fit us really, really well until the last like couple months. Months. There's no storage in these condos. So like we don't have a garage. We don't have a storage unit So I have like Christmas decorations in my closet <laughs> Which you know was seriously fine at first, but as my channel has grown um, I just feel like everything has grown and we just needed more space So we started looking around for houses actually at the beginning of the year And that's kind of what's been consuming a lot of our time recently I'm gonna dip into this dark shade right here, which is called Jeans. 
and I'm gonna start to deepen up this outer corner even more. But anyways, nobody really told me how stressful and time consuming house hunting or apartment shopping or whatever it is, like nobody told me how stressful that can be. I always thought, you know, that it looked all glamorous from watching Fixer Upper. <laughs> Joanna Gaines makes it look so easy, but you know, it's quite the process to find something that works for you, to find something that's in your price range. I feel like it's also a weird time of year to be house shopping. It's in the middle of winter, so I feel like not that many people are moving. But anyways, we found a house and I'm really excited. It's not official yet, but we did put an offer on it and I'm so excited. I will definitely keep you guys posted and hopefully I'll be able to show you guys when we do move. I'm just being patient right now. It's quite the process, like I said, but I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited to have a little bit more space because Thailand and I both work at home. So it'll be so nice for him to have a space to work like his own office and a garage. I'm so excited for a garage. I'm so excited. Those are the little things that like growing up, I didn't think that I would really care about, but as an adult, you really appreciate things like that. Like I can't wait for a garage. <laughs> Okay, let's go into Dirty Money, which is that gorgeous olive green shade. And I'm just gonna take it on my finger and I'm just going to press this all over the lid. Oh my goodness, it is beautiful. This is just with my finger. I bet if I wet the brush, it would be even more intense, but ooh, I love it. I'm just taking the brush that we used first and I'm kind of buffing a little bit more of that shadow just over top of the edge of the green right here, just to make sure it's all blended. I really want to do like a pretty eyeliner. And I thought of this one from Thrive Cosmetics. It's in the shade Lizzie, and it's a green, which I feel like will look kind of cool with this. So let's use it. I'm just gonna run this across the top lashes. Ooh, I like that. It's really subtle up against the green eyeshadow, but it gives enough of a dimension that you can see it. It's all about the little details, which I love. I love when there's like little details that people might not even see unless they're really up close to you, but I feel like those little things are what make a makeup look really special. Ooh, I really like how that looks. I don't even know if you can see what I'm talking about. Can you see the subtle, subtle definition? This eyeliner alone, like with just a little bronzer in the crease and then this along the lash line would be so beautiful. I've never really worn an eyeliner in this color. It's so pretty. I'm gonna take the brush that we were using with the very dark brown shade and I'm just gonna make sure the outer corner is deep enough. So I'm just adding a little bit more of the darkest brown shade, which is called Chains. Well, I feel like I just brought the brown up a little bit too far and it got muddy. So if this ever happens to you, a really good trick, and I do this all the time if I feel like I messed up, I take just some translucent powder on a brush, tap off the extra so there's not too, too much. And I just use that to blend over the edges and it will kind of soften everything for you and erase a little bit of whatever you think you messed up on. I'm just layering up a little bit more of the green shade because I really want it to be vibrant on the lids. I'm gonna clean up the fallout underneath the eyes and then I'm gonna take my finger and press down on the lines just to make sure that the edges aren't too harsh. All right, let's move on to complexion. I'm gonna be using my favorite drugstore primer. This is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. I just love how it looks under every foundation. It seriously makes every foundation look better. So I'm just gonna smooth that all over the face, really focusing it in the T-zone for me because that's where I have the largest pores. And for foundation, I really wanted to use the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. Um, I recently tried out the new liquid version of this and it didn't work out very well for me, but I really want to use this today because this is a foundation that I've loved for so long and it's been so long since I've worn it. I feel like I may have used it in another Full Face of Nothing new video. And if so, that seriously was the last time I used this. So I just draw a few stripes on my face like this. I am gonna use the new Hourglass brush that came with the liquid foundation. I've been obsessed with this brush. This brush works really, really well for a lot of my foundations. So I'm just gonna use this to blend it out. Um, by the way, I use the shade Shell. This foundation has the prettiest coverage. It's so buildable. It just makes your skin look absolutely flawless. My husband loves when I wear this foundation. Like he can always tell when I'm wearing it. He'll ask me, he'll be like, oh, are you wearing the hourglass foundation? I'll be like, yes. Cause apparently it looks that good. I like to dot a little extra over blemishes. And then I just kind of take the brush and I press over the area so that I don't like wipe away the coverage. All right, we're gonna go back into the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. 
and I'm going to dot it under the eyes. We can always build up more later, but we're just gonna start with that much. I'm gonna use the Morphe 173 brush just to buff out this concealer underneath the eye area. And then I'm going to take a little bit of concealer and I'm going to apply it to my sponge. This is the um, Sapphire Beauty Blender. I swear this one works better than the original. I don't know if it's just me, but I swear this one works better. Um, and I'm just taking that and going over the area again, just kind of pressing it into the skin a little bit more. And while we're at it, I'm just going to press the sponge over the rest of the face just so that we get a little bit more of a skin-like finish. And it also gets rid of any brush marks if there are any. I've been so into cream bronzing recently. I'm into a few, but I haven't used this one in a while. This is the Benefit Hoola Quickie Contour Stick. I used to use this a lot on my channel and I just like to warm it up on the back of my hand first. Then I take a small brush. This is one that I got from Sephora like a couple years ago. It's the Mini Flawless Airbrush brush. And I like to just take it from off the back of my hand and I like to just press this on the areas that I want to kind of bronze and contour all at the same time. And I do use like a bronzer, a powder bronzer as well, but I feel like when I do this, I notice a difference, especially in photos. And I notice that when my makeup kind of wears off throughout the day, I still have a lot of structure on the skin from doing this. So I feel like it's worth taking the extra time to do it, especially if it's a special occasion type of thing. Obviously it's more time consuming than just like judging on a powder bronzer. So it's not something that I would do on an everyday basis, but I've been so into it for events and things like that. So I just kind of map it out on the face first. I don't worry about it being too blended quite yet. We will blend it in a minute. I'm gonna take what's left on the back of my hand on the other side of my sponge. And this is where I'm just going to blend it out so that everything looks really seamless and everything blends into each other and we don't have any harsh contour lines. All right, now I'm going to press the Laura Mercier translucent powder just underneath the eye area. Oh, that reminds me, I really want to try something. I'm gonna have to get up and grab a powder puff and then we're gonna try a different kind of setting method that I've heard about before several times, but I've never put to the test. So let me go grab the little puff. I grabbed the Laura Mercier powder puff and I'm gonna pour some powder out onto my hand and really work it into this puff. Listen, I've learned this from so many people now. We did a masterclass in New York with Laura Mercier and they taught us how to do this. Um, I've also seen Makeup by Mario do it when I went to his masterclass, which by the way, I will tell you guys about that in a second. But I've also discovered a new YouTuber that I personally had never seen before. I've become absolutely obsessed with her videos. Her name is Andrea Ali, but on her YouTube, it says Ali Andrea. So this is her channel, you guys. I will link her channel down below. I'm seriously in love with the methods that she teaches. Her makeup style is so similar to mine, so go subscribe to her, I will link it down below. But she did this as well, and I've been binge watching her videos, so I really wanted to try it. So I took the puff and I rubbed it together. So now there's quite a bit of powder in there, and now I'm just going to press the powder puff onto the skin. Literally, I've never done this, you guys, and I've seen it done so many times. I feel like I'm nervous about using a powder puff. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know why I haven't ever done this, but we're trying it today. I'm just pressing it into the skin. I personally like to set my entire face. You could just set the T-zone or the areas that you normally do, but I like to set the entire face because I like to um, add powder things on top and I want to also blend out nicely. Apparently this method really locks in your makeup. I don't know, I was never taught how to use these puffs. Am I the only one who like, when you see this, you think, oh, like the movies and the powder goes everywhere. Do you know what I mean? But you're supposed to like really work the powder in, fold it like this and then press and roll. So that's very different for me. We tried something new today. My face feels very locked in. Let's finish up the eyes and then we'll move back to the complexion. I'm gonna take this shade right here called Necessary again, tap off the extra and I'm going to buff this along the lower lash line. This is the Morphe E62 brush and it's actually shaped beautifully to go right underneath the eye area. I don't think I've ever used this brush before, but I really like it for that. I'm making sure to connect the shadows up to the top lid so that it all looks purposeful, something like that. So next I'm going to take a small brush and we're going to dip into Dirty Money. I'm gonna to try to load up the brush and I am gonna spray it. I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of Fix Plus. Hopefully that will prevent too much fallout. I'm just gonna go ahead and run this 
along the lower lash line. Then I'm taking a clean brush and I'm buffing everything out on the lower lash line. And I'm actually gonna take a little translucent powder just to kind of clean that up a little bit. I don't want the lower lash line to be too harsh. I want it to be like kind of harsh, <laughs> but not too crazy. So I'm just taking a little bit of translucent powder just to clean that up a little bit more. I'm going back in with the shade Necessary just so that we have more of that lighter color than we do the green on the lower lash line. Then I'm gonna take a flat angled brush. This is the Morphe M4 one zero and I'm gonna use that to connect the lower lash line to the upper lash line on this outer corner here all right now I'm going back into that Lizzie eyeliner and I'm just going to line the waterline with this I'm really into this eyeliner because the waterline like looks defined but it's a green so it's really really soft I love that. Okay, let's put mascara on. I'm gonna use the Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hour Mascara for the top lashes, and then I'm gonna use a different one for the lower lashes. We're being extra today, so I'm just gonna add two to three coats to the top lashes. We're gonna to try to make the lashes look pretty bold. All right, so top lashes are done. I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara for the lower lashes. I like the wand on this mascara for the lower lashes. I just feel like it's easier to apply. I don't know, I really like it for lower lashes. All right, we might go back and touch up the eyes later. Let's finish up the skin. I'm gonna use the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster Contour Palette. This is really, really great, especially this middle shade right here. This is what I'm gonna use it for. I'm gonna take this and I'm going to apply it to the hollows of the cheeks. And I'm also going to use it to define the sides of the nose. And underneath the lip, this will just kind of make it look more pouty. It creates a shadow there. And then I'm gonna take my Thrive Cosmetics Sun Chaser Bronzer in the shade Rhea. And we are going to really warm up the face with this. I'm just gonna go right over where we applied the cream contour. So along the forehead. And you wanna get this into the hairline on the forehead. That way it looks the most natural. And I'm just gonna keep building up that bronzer. I'm going along the jawline and down the neck with this. And I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and lightly dust over everything just to make sure everything's blended. I feel like you can never over blend. The more you blend, the better it looks. For blush, I'm not sure which one I wanna do. I might layer the two. Um, I'm gonna use the Burt's Bees blush in the shade Toasted Cinnamon. This is a pretty warm toned color. So I'm gonna go in with a light hand and I'm going to apply it a little bit lower on the cheeks, kind of over top of the bronzer, just to avoid it looking too muddy towards the front of my face. So I'm just applying it right here right over the bronzer. And it's adding color, but again, I don't want it to look too muddy. I'm gonna take this L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted Blush. This has a little bit more of a sheen to it. This is in the shade Bashful. And since it has more of a sheen, I am going to layer this one more toward the front of the cheeks. So I'm smiling to apply that. And I'm just putting that mainly on the apples of the cheeks. I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera, but there is a little bit of a gold sheen to this one, which I really love. I'm gonna take my brush and just buff over everything because you can never blend too much. And then, I'm taking the brush that we were using underneath the lower lash line and I'm just buffing that out a little bit lower like that. Okay, for highlighter, I really wanted to use this. I actually don't know if this is available anymore. Um, it's from Nabla. You can use your favorite highlighter if you are following along. But this is the Nabla Cosmetics Wave Highlighter and it is blinding. Oh my goodness, I forgot how blending this is. I'm just layering this in light layers on the high points of the face and I do like to bring it on the front of the cheeks right here. I'm gonna put it on the cupid's bow, down the center of the nose. Wow, that is very glowy. Then I'm going to take the same highlighter and apply it to the inner corner of the eye just to brighten that area up a little bit. And I'm gonna take what's left on the brush and apply it right underneath the high point of the brow just to lift the brow a little bit. I'm gonna take my makeup wipe and just wipe off any foundation that got on the lips. And I'm gonna line the lips with the KKW Beauty Nude One Lip Liner, which brings me to my next thing I wanted to tell you guys about. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I went to the uh, Masterclass by Mario, which is a makeup class that Mario Dedevanovic puts on. And I've been to one before. I went to his class in Toronto two years ago. And he normally just has a model, any random model from the city where he is. And they're the ones that he does the makeup on. But this one in LA, he had Kim Kardashian come. So I really wanted to go because he's been Kim's makeup artist for 10 years now. And I just felt like that would be so cool to see how he does her makeup. So anyways, my husband surprised me on Christmas with tickets to this masterclass. And he also invited two of my friends, Bonnie and Ellie. You guys have probably seen them on my channel. If you haven't, I'll link their channels down below. But it was so much fun. We all went to LA and we all went to this class and there's all different kinds of tickets and the tickets that we bought meant that we were able to take a picture at the end with Kim Kardashian, Mario, and then Anastasia who is the founder 
founder of Anastasia Beverly Hills. She taught how to do eyebrows during the class and it was really, really interesting. So anyways, at the end of the class, <laughs> we were all talking about how we were gonna pose for our one picture because they move the line really, really fast. You hand them your phone, they take literally one picture and then you move on like so fast. So in my mind, like I thought I knew how I was going to stand there, but I got up there, got so nervous. I geeked out completely, clammed up. And normally I feel like I'm pretty good in front of a camera. Like I know how to stand at least to not make myself look awkward. I forgot everything I ever learned about standing in front of a camera and nobody put their arm around me. So I didn't put my arm around Kim or Mario. I just stood there with my arms down <laughs> and I look at my picture after and I was like, oh, Oh my gosh, I'll put it right here, you guys. Look at how I'm standing, look at my arms. I couldn't believe it. We were all laughing so hard at our pictures because in your mind, you're really excited to have those photos to look back on forever, you know, and I ruined mine. I'm so mad, but also it's so funny to me. Anyway, it was a really good class though. I highly recommend going to one of his classes if you are a makeup artist or an aspiring makeup artist. Like I said, that was my second class and I feel like I still learned so much. Like I personally feel like you can never stop learning. So I'm really happy we went, but I had to just tell you guys about it because it was so funny. I love this lip liner, by the way. I love to wear it just as a lip color on its own, um, but I thought I would use one of the KKW Beauty lipsticks. This is the Nude One lipstick, and I want to apply this in the center of the lips. I'm just gonna dab it and then mix it in with the lip liner a little bit just by using my finger. I can't figure out if I want a gloss or not. I feel like this gloss might be pretty just in the center of the lips. It's the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fussy. I'm just gonna add the smallest amount and press it in with my finger just in the center of the lips. That way it's not like super gloopy glossy, but we have a little bit of a sheen there. I love how that looks. Yes, I really like that. Okay, let's step back and assess the situation. See if we need any more bronzer anywhere, AKA yes. <laughs> I'm just gonna add this to the forehead a little bit more. I'm just get my mirror back a little bit so I can really see everything from far away. I feel like it's really important to step back and assess the situation because if you look at yourself from far away, you can kind of see, okay, we look balanced here. I need a little bit more blush here. I need a little bit more bronzer here or whatever it might be. Um, so I am gonna add a little bit more of the L'Oreal blush just closer to the inner part of the nose. It gives such a nice glow. Um, I'm gonna take the big fluffy brush and buff really lightly over top of the highlighter. Just because it's so glowy, I don't want any of those edges to be harsh. So I'm just gonna buff over that. Um, the eyes look pretty good. I'm just gonna take what's left on this brush and kind of touch up this outer corner here. But I really love that green eyeshadow. I think it's so pretty. Sometimes you even gotta reassess the um, brows a little bit. Cause when I do my brows first, I tend to get foundation on them. They tend to kind of get rearranged a little bit. So I like to brush through them before I lock them in and touch up where needed. All right, now we lock it in. I'm gonna take my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. This is one of the limited edition ones. I don't know if they're available anymore. You can just use the normal primer water, it's the same. This one just has a fun scent. So I'm just gonna spray the entire face. And I'm being generous because this will take away any powdery finish and it will bring back that smooth skin-like look. I take my fan and I take my sponge and I lightly press down on the foundation, super lightly, just to make sure everything is nice and locked in. Then I'm gonna take the Urban Decay All Nighter Pollution Protection Spray. I normally use the original All Nighter, but um, I don't know where it is right now. <laughs> so much for being organized, right? I'm just gonna spray this all over the skin as well to lock it in all day. And then I do the same thing with the fan. And then we go in with my very favorite powder ever for this. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Transparent Powder. I broke the lid so it's in a Ziploc bag. And I just take this and I use it to set the areas that I don't want shine throughout the day. So for me, that's around the nose. Right here, I really don't want too much shine. Uh, I like to set the chin, 
the center of the forehead right here. And I tend to get a little oily at the tip of the nose, so I like to press powder there too. Then I'm just gonna take the Glossier Boy Brow and I'm gonna use the shade Blonde today. Sometimes I like using the lighter shades so I can get the same kind of boy brow effect, but it's not too dark of a brow, if that makes sense. Especially since we have a pretty dark eye going on. I wanna keep the brow soft so it doesn't compete. And I think that's everything, you guys. I love how this look turned out. It's a very glam edition of Full Face of Nothing New, I feel like, but I love it. I'm so happy that I was able to use this Dose of Colors Friendcation palette again. Oh, it's just so good. I love it so much. So thank you guys for recommending that palette. I'm really happy that I was able to use it and I feel like I'm gonna keep using it a little bit more now that I've tried it again because it is so beautiful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it allowed you to take a break at home and and I hope it inspires you to get some use out of what you already have and what you've loved before that maybe you've forgotten about a little bit. It's so nice for me to take breaks from new launches, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie. I would love to have you join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays when I upload my videos, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys have a great day. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.